the helmet that I always used to wear, mm -hmm. that, that was a shoot, bro. That was, I'm not, I'm not going to die doing this. I've got a concussion. These, these, these guys keep taking shots at me. I'm not going to die doing this. I'm going to protect myself. That was a shoot. I mean, it really was. So now Goldberg's got to spear me through the cage. Okay, so now that day, I'm like, Bill, I've got a concussion. I've been hit in the head twice since the concussion. Bro, you've, you've got to take care of me here. You've got to take care of me, okay? So now I remember the door, you know, here's the ramp. The door is facing the ramp, okay? As Booker's going out the door, I want to go out the same side through the cage, okay? So, Bill, you have to take care of me. You got to take care of me. You got to take care of me, okay? Vince, don't worry. I'm going to put you right through the middle of this cage. And, I'm, and you know, you know the, 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 um, the runway, you got the two steel barricades. Mm -hmm. I'm going to land you right between these two barricades. I mean, right between the two. I'm literally going to place you on the floor. Don't worry. I'm going to place you on the floor. Okay, Bill, you know, no problem, no problem, no problem. Go through the match with Booker, blah, blah, blah. Here he comes, okay, blah, blah, blah. Through the cage, back of my head first into the steel barricade. Directly, he, there, there's this much space directly into, I was, I was out of it. I was, I, I mean, I, I was out of it. That was it, that, that was, the, the next day, I think I relinquished the title, basically saying I got nothing else to prove. I'd beat Booker T. If I beat Booker T, I could beat anybody. So, you know, again, people, th 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 that, that again is just the, 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 the comedic part to me. People that say he put the belt on himself. I won it on a Monday by a lunatic putting me through the cage, and I relinquished it two days later. It's, it's a story, you idiots. It, it's a storyline. Because they value, like we talked before, like back in the day, Bruno, 13 years, right. they still value the belt as, as something meaningful, maybe the last piece of old school wrestling that's left. Whereas your perspective was the business has to change, the internet changed it, the titles, everything has to change. Right. So this is a different perspective. Right. But, but that, I mean, but that was like basically that, <clears throat> that last time was, was like, kind of the icing on the cake and I and I remember like soon after that <clears throat> I think there was an episode like I, I relinquished the belt and I think the next episode might have been or maybe that episode I remember handing the keys of the cast to the castle over to Mike Sanders and I remember saying Mike I gotta go blah 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 you need to take care of things and like I did that because I knew that was I was finished what did you say to Bill in the locker room? I didn't say anything because I, I was out of it. I mean, I, I, I was stretched out. I mean, I was on you that show. You never had an exchange about that? I, no. I mean, like I said, I think the next night I went and I did this, the little sit down. Mm -hmm. I wasn't even on the show. I think I just did the sit down. And I mean, that, I, was, I was done after that. That was it. Do you think it was intentional? I'm, I'm not going I'm not, to I'm not accuse him of did anything. Did you have a problem with Bill? But I'm gonna, Bill had a problem with me. Bill had a huge problem with me, huge, because I wanted him to lose a match, and he had a huge problem with me. But there was a lot of room between those two barricades. I mean, a lot of room.